Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And today I have Baby Rio, which is the Aspen Skull by Claire Teller, painted by myself. He is in my personal collection and um, I am going to get him into a little bit more um, Thanksgiving night wear. So, I got these two sets, this one and this one, and I am going to mix them up a little bit here. I'm just going to change his hat, socks, and bib, I guess, for the most part. Um, as you guys may know, some of you guys, I'm expecting my first grandson, and any day now, um, Tabitha is being kicked off her job. <laughs> She, the girl is trying to work all the way up to her due date and they're like, her due date is Monday and they're like, you're not coming back. We're, they basically like pushing her off the job. So, um, she got a lot of nervous energy. She was start cleaning at her work and they're like, yeah, 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 you need to go home. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so some of you guys, I don't know if you're new to my channel or not. I did the, one of the prototypes for Claire Teller with the Aspen sculpt, so, and I kept his name Aspen. So I have another version of this sculpt, and I am working on another one. I had stopped um, painting it for a while, and I'm kind of back painting it a little bit. So, um, but I, I originally said I was gonna sell my Aspens, the other Aspens except for my prototype, but I decided to only um, to not do that. Um, I won't paint any more Aspens to sell. The Aspen that I have, I will keep for myself. And if I decide that I don't want to keep them, I will, um, give them to a family member. Um, so that's what I will be doing with my Aspen babies. Um, I did sell my Abby prototype and that baby is with Birdie Babies. And, um, so, and I won't be painting another Abbey unless I paint one for my personal collection. Um, why did I clip that off? I don't need this. I was going to, oh, well, that's okay. I meant to take the bib. But, yeah, um, so, yeah, I will paint that one, possibly one for my personal collection. I think I will. Um, just so I can, you know, have them here since it was a big deal for me to actually do a prototype for Claire Teller. Um, but, um, I am, look at him. <laughs> I kind of don't want to take him out of it, but I'm like, somebody got to wear a I don't know if this gonna be this hat look like it might be a little big. What what does size say on this? Um it said zero to six months. Oh, that's why. Cause the socks look a little big, the the hat look a little big. I don't know. The bib is definitely big. Might have to put this on Memphis. But Memphis don't have a tummy plate, so I would have to find a matching onesie and all that stuff. Let me see. Let me just see how the hat fits on his head. He is a bald baby for now. I uh, I may actually get him rooted, but maybe not. I love the shape of the Aspen's head. Seriously. Like, um, truth is, is that, and it's, it's no takeaway from my rooter because I love her work always. But I absolutely bonded more with my Aspen bald. Once he came back with hair, it was like the bald, the bond was different. Um, and that happens to me sometimes. So it's not like, you know, it's the end of the world type thing. Yeah, I think this hat is not going to work for you. Look at that. I mean... It look, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. It's giving me very much 
you knew this didn't fit this baby, but you put it on him anyway. So <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna keep him in what he's wearing. Yeah. So let's see. Maybe I can switch it over to. Maybe I'll switch him over and try. Um, Memphis. So anyway, if you guys have not got you guys an Aspen kit or a uh, Abby kit from Claritella, her her website is claritellajaws.com and you can order the kits from the store. Um, they do come with the half belly plate and the body. So the whole kit, everything is basically there. You just got to paint it and then get your weighting materials. But yeah. Um, I really, I, I think this sculpt is a beautiful sculpt, actually. So, definitely, definitely um, would recommend this one. But I am going to switch babies. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have seen him and his brother together. Let's take a chance. We'll see how this works out. That's his brother. <laughs> so yeah, that that's that's his brother, little little Mister Bothered. He his brother is unbothered, and he is bothered. He don't want to be bothered. Look at him, swagger buggers. Mama swagger buggers. Um. Yeah, it's funny they have two total different looks let me see it's all about difference in painting them but anyway i don't know let me put them back over here let me see if i can get memphis because that didn't work out i thought for sure that i was gonna be able to oh you're so sweet you smell so good <laughs> They have that baby, the the two boys, Aspen and Rio. They have baby, baby wafers, the powder wafers in them. Oh, come on! And it smells so good when you pick them up. You just just make you just want to love on them. All right, now we got little fatty here. This is my big boy here. All right. So now we got him here. <sighs> How we gonna work this out? Let me see. All right, there we go. So we got, we got Mr. Chunk here. So we got Mr. Chunk here. See, do you see what I see? I don't know how, if this gonna work. But what he already got on. He a baldy too. Most of my babies are bald because I don't root the vinyl. I do re root my silicone. But I don't root the vinyl. So. Oh, I love I waffle. This one, on the other hand, don't have the wafers in him. But he is so freaking cuddly, guys. Oh my gosh. She is like a cuddle bug. Like, I've held this baby before so many times until he was just, like, totally warm. So, let's see. Now, see, I probably would have did better going with the other set. Going with this. And, no, that wouldn't work either. I don't know, child. This is not. This was. This so. As Tabitha would say, this is just ghetto. <laughs> See, that hat is even big for him. We're gonna. We're gonna just put it on him anyway. Who said they have to be matchy matchy, right? The build match. 
I'm gonna put the bib on. Put the hat on. My first Thanksgiving. <gasps> we giving what we supposed to give. Are you giving what you're supposed to give? <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> I don't know. Let me, oh, wait. Let me see. You guys can. You guys can see his little picky with his. It's my boca. I love his feet. I be hating to cover him up sometimes. But it is what it is. Yeah, so even if Bryson came, he wouldn't have been able to fit this outfit. I mean, the, the hat, he'd be able to fit the bib. So there we go. It worked. It's going to work today. Look at that. You're so cute. <laughs> Look at him. It's so cute. And um, Memphis is the Alexis by Cassie Brace. Absolutely love this sculpt. This is my, one of my favorite sculpts for real. Um, so much so that I'm actually thinking about painting one more <laughs> for my personal collection. I already have two. I know it's ridiculous, but I, I enjoy painting this sculpt. I don't know what it is about it, but it just, it's got me on one like the Gabigales did. I was so addicted to the Gabigales, but, um, so that's, yeah, so that's Memphis. And I think that works. So he will be my Thanksgiving turkey. He gonna be my Thanksgiving baby. So anyway, I know some people don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, as the more I look into the meaning behind it all and the history behind it all, the more I don't really want to celebrate the actual day itself. But um, I do like you know, just the whole idea of family time, giving thanks and being thankful, which we should do that every day, but it's, it's, it, it doesn't hurt to, you know, have a time where you, um, just really sit down as a family and, 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 and give thanks to, you know, every, every, for everything that you, you have, um, yeah, that didn't work for you. I have to get the one that I made for you. See, that one's made specifically for Nevada. Um, Zora can wear it though sometime. But yeah, um, like I'll start with this today and start on a more less personal, as far as my personal life. But I um, definitely want to tell you guys that I'm thankful for you guys that take the time out to watch my videos um those that take the extra step to thumbs in it up i also want to thank the other ones that even go even further and leave me a comment and some of you guys even go even further and reply back to me when we have like sometimes we have a whole dialogue going in the comment section which is cool um and i thank you guys that join my live streams and Definitely thank you guys that purchased my babies and love them and support me and keep me encouraged to keep painting and stuff like that. Um, definitely this channel um, is, you know, my baby because I've been doing this for, you know, since 2013 um, on this channel. So I've been around for a long time, not as long as some of these other people that's been around for 20 and 30 years. No, definitely not. I'm still kind of a baby to the game. Um, but, you know, a lot of people have been around before my time, like Pooh Bear 253. And, um, well, that's one of the, the staples. Um, um, Nana, she was here before me. Nana Betty, I think. I, I forget the name of her channel, actually. But yeah, just different people been around doing YouTube longer than me. Um, but, you know, Pooh Bear 253 was one of the very first channels that I really got addicted to. And I, like, never missed her channel. Um, it, it's just, I don't know. I just loved her organization skills and her babies and how she loved on them and I, I felt like we kind of collect a lot alike when it comes to our babies as far as how we care for them and wanted them to have their things and 
stuff like that. So I was very much inspired by Pooh Bear um, as far as like, I've still to this day not been able to organize the way that she does. Like she is freaking OCD with her organizing in a good way. But um, I still always think about her when I'm trying to organize. I'm like, see, Pooh Bear would have had this all like, you know. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's, you know, um, this time of the year, I get very emotional. I'm very sensitive, very, it's, it's a very, and I think that's another thing that people forget about this time of the year. It's happy times because you got Christmas and people giving and gifts. And, um, for me, I don't particularly care about getting gifts. I love to give. So it's usually my favorite time of the year because I get to give. But um, you think about all that of the people that's not here anymore and it gets. So yeah, as I stated, I got a little emotional so I had to cut that part out. So I just want to say, guys, be mindful that um, this time of the year is a very... Uh, exciting time of the year it's cheerful but at the same time there's a lot of people that you know grieve during this time of year where they miss their loved ones and so just be mindful and consider it and be you know a little extra sensitive around this time if you can um i wish you guys all the best i hope that you guys have a wonderful end of the year if i don't hear from you guys anytime soon again be blessed. Thank you so much for all that you have done and supported me in my journey in this hobby. Thank you.